questions often get asked regarding how we are going to address the potential of an outbreak and what the likelihood of an outbreak would be in the United States of Ebola. And you often hear it said it would be extremely unlikely that there would be an outbreak in the sense of the public being at risk of an infectious outbreak of Ebola. And the reason why you keep hearing that it is extremely unlikely that that would happen is because Ebola spreads by direct contact with the bodily fluids of an ill patient. Uh, a patient who is without symptoms, a patient who is well but has early infection does not spread Ebola. And so if a person comes in who has Ebola and in fact does expose other people, we historically know from years dating back till 1976 in all of the outbreaks in Africa in which the CDC and other health authorities have been involved in controlling that when you do contact tracing of anyone who came into contact with someone after they have been manifesting symptoms, get those people, isolate them, keep them out of contact with others until you prove that they are or are not infected with Ebola. That kind of identification, isolation, contact tracing has been a successful way to not only control existing outbreaks, but to prevent other outbreaks. We have that kind of a healthcare system here. We're doing an extraordinary amount of tightening up of the possibility of a patient coming in. There's exit screening at the origin of flights from West Africa to the United States. There is now entry screening. The best way that we in the United States can protect Americans from Ebola is to suppress it at its source in West Africa. And that's exactly what we are aggressively pursuing. Particularly, I point you to the president and his recent announcement a little bit ago about ratcheting up our resources in the form of the United States putting up 17,100 bed hospitals, the CDC and USAID putting the largest contingent of people in history of their organization to try and quell the epidemic. And then finally, importantly, we're aggressively working on a, uh, an accelerated program of trying to determine if the vaccines that we have now in early clinical trial will turn out to be safe and effective. Because it is conceivable that with the growth of this epidemic in West Africa, that we might actually need a vaccine, not only for the healthcare workers, but to be an important tool in containing the epidemic. My main message is that certainly we need to pay attention to what's going on. We have to have the kinds of surveillance and monitoring that the CDC is putting in. But you must remember that the risk of Ebola for the everyday citizen in the United States is extraordinarily low. So Ebola is on the radar screen, but for us is an extraordinarily remote threat.